where it kind of needs to go back to, you know, where, you know, a man is um, courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. And I feel like what's happening now, and again, I've only been in the world for a few months, is they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it that they're the prize? Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We to get into it. Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. All right. I want to say Shalom. All right. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you with a quick lesson. And uh, this is from Reba's TV. You know, this chick right here, um, and another, and the other chick, um, I can't think of the other chick. She's a Muslim. She wear red lipstick. I think I think she go by the name of something red in it. And she always wearing red. You know, these two chicks be going in. You know, sometimes I watch them. I got went to them from my woman. And um, they pop up on the feed. And for the most part, for the most videos that I watch from them, they was on point. You know, they speaking truth in their content. You know, they speaking the truth. Unlike some of these, uh, you know, the other content creators and things like that that touch on these subjects, you know, man and woman relationships and, you know, the high value men and all that stuff like that. You know, this chick and the other chick. All right. But uh, anyway, let's get back, get to this video. Um, I'm going to play it again. Matter of fact, play that back. Courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. And I feel like what's happening now, and again, I've only been in the world for a few months, is they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it they're, that they're the prize? Yes. We talk yeah, because that shit is over with, you know? These women are not worth, you know, uh, you know, spending your time, wasting your time, and treating in a certain, treating her like a princess, because they're not princesses. You're baboons, hyenas, you know. And yes, every man thinks that a woman has somebody else because most likely they do. W women ain't never single, you know. When they say they single, they still got somebody they fucking on the side. So they ain't single, man. You know? So let me continue. <laughs> fucking deep here. Yes. We're about to get into it. Oh, my God. That the, that oh, the man is the prize. The is he the said the man is the prize. The man has always been the prize. All right? When it comes to the scriptures, when it comes to the, you know, the essence and the beginning, the nature of life, men has always been the prize. Men are the reason why the world go round. Men are the foundation. All right. The scriptures say in Revelation 21, the Lord said, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. He said, I would dwell with them. You know, they're the house. That's why the Lord made man to be over woman. You know, when you look at every nation, the man, all right, is the is the leader. He's the shepherd. Okay, he's the one that goes to war to fight for the ch the women and children. You know, and society used to have it where men were the prize. But Esau in this wicked ass society gave these wicked ass women liberty. You know, now they feel like they don't need a man. They're independent. And that proves the scriptures anyway. All right. Because the scriptures say a woman shall surpass a man. You know, women got jobs making way more money than men. You know, so let's continue. Right. Yes, I'm talking loud. Yes, that is so true. Like they've taken it off of the woman. The woman. No, we read the scriptures. We look in the Bible. The, oh. the man becomes more infatuated with himself. What? The man become more infatuated with himself. The Bible is more male centered than it is for women. All right. When the Lord talk about these women, 
most of the time, he's cutting them, you know, reproving them, rebuking them, you know. And the women that are in the scriptures that that are praised, you know, in a way, because they did a righteous deed in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that it was edifying, you know. But most of the time, the Lord gets on you women. So he talking about lovers of themselves, and that's a scripture. All right, that's uh, Second Timothy. Okay, I believe uh, the third chapter in the second verse. Men shall be lovers of themselves. That's not talking about just men. It's talking about you know men and women, you know mankind, the uh, the uh, human race, you know. And today you can see that that they become lovers of themselves because of social media, you know. And 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 you know watching this video, I watch, I watched a couple seconds of it. She even gonna tell you. Let me let me just let the let the video play. So lock it. You see, here's the thing. I knew this man was a panderer, but what I did not know is that he was also a blasphemer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did not know that. You see, they you got men like this that would love to be in the presence of these actors like her, a celebrity, and they simp, you know, and they don't know the scriptures. You know, he up here with his face all cut up, you know, shaped up, worldly. You know, looking pretty for the hoes. You know, and he got to say the right things, of course. Look who he has on his panel. You know, I don't even know who this guy is, to be honest with you. But we all know Tamara, or what's her name, Tia, you know, from the late show back in the what? What was that, the, the 90s or the 2000s? You know, her and her sister. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this chick is an Edomite, man. If brothers know the uh, info, I believe her father is an Edomite. I don't even think she's an Israelite. All right? I believe her, her mom's might be an Israelite, but her dad is an Edomite, if I'm not mistaken. All right? So let me continue. They are willing to go so far just to be, um, you know, on the women's accord or just to please the woman's feelings and emotions, See? and it's not the truth. You know, the Shout thing is... Point. I don't even want to go into that like I don't even want to take that route but trying to use religion right biblical teachings and turn it around and make it seem like oh you know well they said that you know men were gonna become lovers of themselves just just out of common sense right. okay let's just this is not about <laughs> you know being religious or anything like that this is just about yeah. common sense right when that book is speaking in the terms men more times it is talking about people as in man right. as in flesh and if you want to talk about people being lovers of themselves the the people that i see that have become lovers of themselves over a span of time more than anybody else has been women women have been so selfish self-sufficient we don't need nobody you know can't nobody rely uh you know can't nobody tell me nothing i don't need to rely on nobody i could do bad all by myself i don't need a man i'm better than a man i'm over a man so let's not even go there okay but i'm done with him let me i don't even i'm sorry i don't even want to see let's let, yeah and she can even understand that while reading that scripture the context is you know it's talking about you know people okay but it's say men that's why it's important to understand the context in which you're reading, man. And that's prophecy, what it's going into, to be honest with you. Because in these latter days, men shall be lovers of their own selves, and we see that. Look at social media. Look at all this content create, uh, content uh, uh, that they put out here. You know? Everybody got a cell phone nowadays. You know? It's all about them. And, it's, and like she said, majority of that is you women. Don't women outnumber the men in every nation? It's you women. Let's look back at Tia. Okay, let's look at Tia. Tia said, okay, that she is now in the dating world and she noticed that men are no longer courting women. You know, they're not treating women like, you know, they were may maybe basically in the 90s where it's like, baby, baby, I love you. You know, here's, here's some roses, here's some flowers, you know, trying to shower them, trying to prove that they are worthy to be in the presence of a woman, right? And so she hey, I'm so lucky. I gotta stop it because guess what? The music have changed. 
you know E put this demonic music out here These women listening to these new chicks That sing Most of their songs be about You know dissing them He cheated on me He was disloyal Had to kick him to the curve All these songs that these women listen to nowadays The lyrics is all about dissing the men We had uh, what they call soul music, R&B You had good feeling, you know, music Good spiritual music that would make you feel good They took all that shit away Alright, I remember Whitney Houston was talking about that Before she passed away You know You know, women are not singing about how they want a man And keep a man in anymore, man <laughs> That's why You know He allowed these women to have liberty and the scriptures tell us about a woman having liberty, man. So let me get that scripture real quick. Uh, real quick. Um, Okay, here we go. So this is Sirach chapter 26 and 9. It says, The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. If thou daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. It says, Least she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And you women have abused yourself. So you thought it was a good thing that you should have all this liberty to do whatever you want. Women don't have the ability to make you know, the right the right decisions. They deprived of wisdom and understanding. Okay? Women need a man to make them be stable. You know, with a man in your life, you 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 have you live more of a stable life. When you when you by yourself, you make these decisions, you more live, you know, uh um in a party spirit, you know. You do whatever what feel what makes you feel good, you know. But with a man, you live more stable. Because you have a head, you know? So it says, If thou daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, least she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Because if you give a liver a woman liberty, she gonna do whatever and where she gonna do whatever and she gonna do whatever the fuck she wanna do, man. Okay? Women make wrong decisions, man. They make bad choices and they have to suffer for it later. A lot of these women sleep with a whole bunch of men and now that they're older, they're gonna die alone. No man wants you. I know a situation uh, with this chick. Well, you know, I know a situation that I, uh, you know, where a woman, um, you know, she, she's up there, she's about 50, you know, and she wants a man, but here it is, every man she gets, she drove him away, you know? And uh, what all I could say was, you know, when I had this conversation was she going to die alone, you know, because she don't have the sex appeal anymore. Ain't no man looking for you. And then you don't even have the qualities in keeping the man because it's all about you. So she going to die alone, you know, and women start to think that way as they get older. See, these young women think that life is all theirs forever. They're going to live that way forever. But you can't. Once you get it, if you live long enough to get a certain age, your priorities are going to change. Your mindset is going to change. You know, you're going to want to settle down and then what? You know, no man is going to want you unless you get one of these niggas off the street. You know, and now you're going to have problems. All right. So. That she wants to, she wishes that it was, um, you know, back in those days or back in that time where men were courting women. Now, I want to strongly start this off by saying i do not know uh verbatim the reason why tia and her husband got divorced all i know and all i can go off of is what she said and what she said was that she graduated from her marriage wow meaning that she got to a place that she no longer felt like the two of them were on the same playing field or the two of them were no longer you know seeing eye to eye whatever it was she feel like she outgrew mm. she feels like she outgrew the relationship she outgrew the marriage 
these are this is her words not mine okay so for anybody who's gonna come in the comment section See? and defend this and, and that's and that's you women problem always given to change 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 you know something get old to you or something remain the same you got to change that's the problem with women they can never sit their ass down you know it's too enticing out here it's too much liberty out here for the american woman all right to actually be locked down with one man you know especially when she's in a field with other women having all this fun because they got liberty you know you women are it your women are fucking foolish man and that's why your how about you is changing things because she even admits this you know men are not courting women anymore they're not going out their way to please a woman anymore now social media you see the high value uh men the men that are having their different um you know content and they're speaking on things and bringing out you know principles and make and getting men to come back to those ways that look you're the you're the chosen in our reality they are you know they got it backwards women supposed to chase men men ain't supposed to be chasing these women and especially not the israelite man every israelite man is a prince man okay that's why in the kingdom we're gonna have whatever we want man we're gonna have all types of women you know all types of uh different nations of women you know the men is the prize and it's coming back to that and how it's coming back to that because the lord is destroying this society man guess what women ain't gonna be able to go out here and get their food anymore on their own you can't hit the supermarket you know even if you do hit the supermarket, do you got enough money to pay for your food? Now you need a partner, you know? Because it's like life is a little easier when you have a partner, when you have a husband. Because now y'all can put y'all money together. Y'all can be each other's crutch, you know? Making life easier for you to get by, but when you're independent, it's a lot hard, you know? And, and, and black women mistake um, uh, being strong uh, they, they they mistake that They say I'm a strong black woman They say that and they mistake that with attitude You know They gotta show forth their nasty ass attitude And they prideful attitude man And they call themselves a, a black A strong black woman You know when it's wrong You know but I ain't gonna hold you I'm gonna uh, let this lesson go Um It's a long 14 minutes And I might be stopping you know, I like this chick here, Rivia TV, and the other chick, uh, something red, the Muslim woman, dark skin, always wearing the red lipstick. I know you brothers know who that is. They always be going in, man. You gotta give it to them. You know, they in the world, but they be going in. It's okay to listen to because they be bringing out some truth with with these pointers, man. With the situations, they 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 are uh, responses to these situations and shit. You know, this see the Lord is spinning things back the way it's supposed to be. You know, so we about to get the fuck up out of here. You women gonna be subject under your husband. You know, the wallet, the wallet, the wallet. Your how about Shimmy? I was shy. You know, so call halal la. Your how about Shimmy? I was shy, which means all praises to the Father. Your how in the name of His Son. Your how shy. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom to the 144 and you few sisters that tune into the lessons that get edified. Shalom.